Hey guys, so, um, so I just kind of want to give you guys some words of wisdom. Um, if you guys are planning to do some sort of homesteading stuff, um, make sure you know what you're getting into. I don't want to scare anybody by no means because it's fun. I, I absolutely love it. But I want to also make sure I give words of wisdom because of the fact that a lot of people think that they're going to be able to just jump into it. And then they realize, oh, this is a lot more work than I was expecting. And um, like my wife and I, you know, we, we're trying to help out a friend that has cows. And um, he's got them for beef, but one of the one of the girls got pregnant, you know. And he had no idea. His kids didn't care, didn't, wasn't paying attention. And one of the calves, or the calf that was born, ended up getting a broken leg because the cows trampled her and broke her leg. And it's a very sad, very, very sad ordeal. We had to deal with that, had to put her down because there's nothing else you can do with it, with her. Um... But anyway, I say that to go back to, listen, this is words of wisdom. Don't just jump. You know, I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with jumping. But, you know, make sure you kind of have an idea of what you're getting into when you're going to do it. Because there, it is a process. It is a process. You know, um, because my wife and I got called up early in the morning, Friday morning, hey, you know, we got a cow, I don't know what to do, blah, 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 blah. Um, my wife and I are jumping into this wholeheartedly because we care about the animals and because we care about our friend and um, trying to help him out, you know. And now we're trying to figure out how to milk mama. And normally I could milk mama and, you know, it's a pain. It's, it's a pain because I don't, I don't milk cows. So my hands hurt really bad. Um, but I could do it. The problem is with milking her the traditional way, the old fashioned way of milking, you know, you got a pail and, a, and, and you're sitting there and you're pulling teats with your hands. Um, with that way of doing things, you get crap, dirt, poop, whatever in the milk. And you got to be able to strain it out and you got to be prepared for that. And I'm okay with doing that. I don't have a problem with that. But there's a lot of people that don't like that. And uh, they don't understand that's part of the job. So you're trying to keep things clean. You're trying to keep things going. And um, it's never quote unquote perfect. Um, anyway, I had my wife cut off the recording earlier when we were, this is, later in the afternoon now um when we were milking her because it's like man i was just i was fighting things and it was like you know trying to trying to fight that stuff with her kind of in the way with the camera is it's it's hard i needed her to help me and um but anyway i say that to go back to you guys you know again words of wisdom have some sort of idea, you know, a, a decent idea of what you're getting yourself into. I'm all for homesteading, chickens, cows, you name it. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of people don't really know this about me, but I'm kind of pretty much, um, for the most part, I mean, I, I, I stick to the carnivore diet. I don't really really it's really actually close to the lion's diet um i don't eat any pork i don't eat any you know garbage animals um you know i am what i eat uh, this body is a temple i want to take care of it you know what i mean um <clears throat> so as far as the homesteading stuff goes, I mean, I still do eat crops and I don't technically quote unquote have my own cows right now. 
but um, we're, you know, we're working up to it, right? It's, it's like I said, it's a process. It's a process. It's a process. Don't think you're going to just jump in and everything's going to be hunky dory overnight. It's, it's not. Um, so words of wisdom. So I'm, I'm putting this at the end of the video that we shot the videos that we shot earlier, just to kind of give you guys a heads up. I don't know. Maybe I will throw it in at the beginning to let you guys know what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'll do that. Then you guys can check out the videos that we shot earlier, how we clean our cow, how we, how we do the best we possibly can to make sure that we take care of our cow, take care of the cow, take care of, the people that we work with and the people that we deal with. Um, you know, I want to make it known. This is homesteading. This is not, you know, we don't get the milk to sell it. We get the milk to, to be blessing, to be a blessing. And for our household, you know, a, a, a few of our close family members. Um, but that's about it. You know, the fact of the matter is when home, you know, when you're, going to get serious about homesteading it's not about making money it's about getting out of the system and it's about not dealing with the crap that we're dealing with with bad products on in the in the grocery store crap products um i don't know how many people are finding out finally finding out it's people are waking up by the buttloads that the there's so much hormones and so much crap done that it shouldn't be done. And we need to start going back to the way God had originally intended it. Um, you know, we need to take it back to, you know, uh, a lot of people saying back to Eden. You know, that's a kind of a big thing right now is back to Eden. Um, and I agree with it. We need to take it back to the way God originally intended it. We need to stop, you know, all these genetically modified crap i mean just so much garbage out there um anyway again words of wisdom sorry i got a little frustrated in some of these videos and the coming videos um but it's it's don't expect everything to be perfect um the plan is just to kind of update you we got a milker on our way so that's kind of one of the issues that we had in the video in the coming videos that you'll see in this um in the second part of this video i guess i should say um so you'll see that that we got we got a milker coming so that's going to help us out drastically i don't have to i don't have to work my hands to the bone anymore on that and then um um you know we'll have more we'll have more videos coming up you know letting you guys know how this stuff is progressing how this stuff is going because it's all new to us too we just kind of got thrown into it i mean it's not new to me i mean i've been around it my entire life but you know i'm, I'm learning just like just like everybody and uh, i'm not perfect um i wish i was sometimes but anyway with that being said i hope you guys enjoy these clips i hope you guys watch the stinking video question I get asked quite a bit from different people I know is how much do you have to clean the titties or how clean do the titties got to be look I'm going to tell everybody that's dealing with something like this if you're just start wanting to start a homestead wanting to kind of do things off the land you better uh you better make sure the titties are clean I don't use harsh chemicals I got, I've got water, preferably hot water, and I got dish soap. But scrub the snot out of them. The better you scrub them, the cleaner they'll be. And uh, if you see obvious signs of dirt or poop, get it off. Part of the process of cleaning for milk 
is making sure your area, your work area is clean. I take and I'll get a, a pressure washer in here and I'll clean all this stuff off relatively regularly. I don't look for quote unquote perfection. You're never going to see perfection, but you don't want dirt and filth crap in your milk. So the work area around the, around the titties needs to be relatively clean. Um, you can't really do anything about her legs. Her legs are dirty. If she happens to kick, like right now, today, we're going to be milking by hand. I am in the, pro in the process of buying a milker, but, or getting a milker, I should say. But, um, you want to make sure that you're not getting um, poop or dirt in the milk since an open container uh since the container is going to be open it's more it's easier to get poop and then something else i want to talk to you guys about today is a lot of people don't know this but when you're milking if you have a milker or if you're milking by hand before you start getting milk out of the titties for you for your home use spray out and what that does is that helps clean the holes up if there's any kind of back or anything in there that shouldn't be in there all right we're gonna get the pail we're gonna get some set up and then uh, we'll be right back with you all right guys so I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in. Um, we ended up doing a lot off camera. We're fighting her. She's uh, starting to get a little raw on her nipples. Uh, but this product right here, Bag Balm, believe it or not, that's what this stuff is actually for. Um, it's a great product. She, uh, we're not getting a whole lot of milk because we got to hold a pot right now. We got to hold a pail to catch all the the milk. And um, it's a little difficult on my wife and I. But anyway, I wanted to show you this is a great product. She really is doing good um, as far as producing the, the milk. And, and this keeps her from getting too raw. Um, plus, it's got some uh, great vitamins and, and nutrition in it to keep her healing. I also wanted to show you. So, I iodine her after every time. After every time I, uh, I milk her. Um, I'm trying to get uh, a cup for iodining, but right now I'm just taking a regular iodine bottle. I, this is Amazon Basic. I don't know if they'll get after me for promoting their stuff. I doubt it. But um, but anyway, if you take and you you just squirt some iodine up on her on her teats, if I can aim. That will help with the bacterias and, and anything else that tr wants to try to, to ruin um, or infect the milk. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of how we do it. Um, homesteading 101 is it's a lot of fun. You learn along the way. And um, I can tell my wife's back was hurting. She's been over like this <laughs> um it's a lot of fun i love this i love doing this kind of stuff i love this cow you want to make sure your area stays clean i know you see a lot of crap up here but really and truly the the work area is extremely clean um as a matter of fact my wife can turn around i'll show you guys the the milk we got today so, so anyway um so this is the milk we got today. It's not very much at all. I would say about a quart and a half, um, maybe maybe half gallon. Uh, the fact of the matter is she wants to produce more, but because of the circumstances we're under right now, we're just not being able to pump more. We're not being able to milk her more. Um, we're trying to get a milk a pumper, a pump to, to milk her. Um, but we're just, you know, Got to deal with the process. But this this was an unexpected situation. She we didn't know she was pregnant. 
didn't know. I mean, there was a lot of situations. It's a friend of ours, cow. So we're trying to help him and we're trying to get the milk from her. Um, so we're, we're trying to rush, trying to get the things going, but this is what homesteading is. This is, this is part of life. Now, mind you, if you have a cow at home, you're going to know, Hey, I need to keep an eye on her bags. I got to keep an eye on her to make sure that she's not going to have a calf. And if she is going to have a calf, you have her separated, you have them put aside and, and you'll have things kind of ready for that. Um, but just wanted to give you guys a shout out, give you guys, let you guys know the cleaning process that we, that we go through. Um, we're, like I said, we're working on cleaning up this even more. The, uh, the fact of the matter is, um, this will be, uh, pressure washed and, and cleaned up. And we're gonna, we're gonna work on getting some, some concrete down or some plywood down that she can stand on. So there's just no, um, quote unquote dirt chances of dirt. There's always a chance of filth. There's always a chance. Um, but I just want to also let you guys know, technically speaking, this cow got out of my, uh, she is spraying so bad right now. Look at her. Oh, man, we got to get her milk. We got to get her milk. I'm going to order one of those things as soon as we get home. Um, my cow just got out of my headlock, so I got to fix that. But anyway, um, God, she is literally milking herself. We're going to have to edit. Oh, that good. Oh, the weights. She's already got iodine. Just a little bit. If, uh, if you like what you're seeing, hearing, you know, subscribe to the channel. Um, we'd be more than happy to have some new subscribers. We'd be more than happy to uh, give words of wisdom in, in the future. Again, this is Breaking the System. Um, give this video a like, and we will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.